chief of the defense staff, I'm here to welcome all of us here on behalf of the chief of the defense staff, who is the proud recipient of the Otoo Force Commemorative Gold Coin this morning. I want to indicate that the Ghana Armed Forces play a pivotal role in the overall outcome of the Gabon peace process. And so, for the Majesty we took for to share this glory with the Ghana Armed Forces is important. I took note of it on the 12th of December last year. The two four launched the commemorative road point. The significance is to support, want to recognize distinguished personalities who exude exceptional leadership skills, who are making Ghana proud and who are helping in the stability and the overall development of our country. For us in the Ghana Armed Forces, we are glad that our Chief of Defense Staff will be presented with this award. The reason is that our Chief of Defense Staff has distinguished himself in several films, right from the outset, his basic relationship family, he was identified as a distinguished cadet and sent to the Pakistani Naval Academy in 1982. Over there, he came out as the overall best candidate, the overall best candidate. In Pakistan, establishing and this place the name of Ghana and Ghana Armed Forces on the global field. Again, our chief of defense staff, junior staff force, senior staff force, he was. The overall best on the junior staff force and the senior staff force, the Ghana Armed Forces. Since our chief of defense staff has been commanded, he has brought every member of this Ghana Armed Forces to board and promoted internal cohesion within our armed forces that is unmatched. I cannot recollect any time in the history of armed forces, I think for the 38 years of my service, where the armed forces have been together like under his reign. And he has released the energies of everybody and we are seeing massive transformation within our armed forces. For that matter, we think that this is the time that the armed forces should also receive this award. And we are honored that this award is coming to our Chief of the Defense Staff, Vice Admiral Seth Abraham. <laughs> On this note, I wish to respectfully invite our Chief of the Defense Staff to be with the Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Chief of Staff, I would have also like to follow the protocol by standing on what has been established. But for the significance of this simple and short ceremony, please permit me to go through the protocol by way of acknowledgement. The Chief of Naval Staff, Rear Admiral Isa Adan Yakubo, Chief of Air Staff, 
Air Vice Marshal Van Hansen, the representative of the Chief of Army Staff, the Chief of Staff at the General Headquarters, the Commandant of our distinguished training institution, Air Officer Special Duty at the Jubilee House, Chief of Defense Intelligence, the Deputy Chief of Staff at the Formation Commanders, Directors General, Senior Officers, Officers, the Executive Chairman of the UN3 Group, my brother, Lawyer Boabe, my daughter, Claudia Mwama, this is Amdo, the wife of the Chief of Staff, distinguished invited guests, the fourth side major, the men, women, civilian employees of the Ghana Armed Forces, the friends of the media fraternity, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good morning to you all. I am highly elated and feel extremely honored and especially privileged to be the 20th personality to be presented with the Otu Wars Commemorative Gold Coin. I am humbled to be selected among the many eminent citizens of our dear country to be given this newly minted 24 carat gold coin. I feel highly honored and I warmly, sincerely, and graciously accept this coin and will treasure it for life. This gold coin depicts the recognition of the many roles played by His Majesty Otu Four or Seti Tutu II as a terminate in our national affairs, particularly in resolving the protracted dependency between Dagon and raising the image of kingship in Ghana. The impact and benefits of the two world education fund are so glaring for one to ignore. And the ascendancy of his majesty to the school has enhanced the image of the Atlantic Kingdom in the chieftaincy institution in Ghana. This global introduction of this commemorative point attests to the dignity and resourcefulness of a tomb for. It is my fervent hope that His Majesty's effort will not only end with the resolving of issues of that bomb and other chieftains disputes, but also take up other societal issues like the illegal mining and encourage the chiefs under him to desist, to desist from aiding Chinese and other Ghanaians who desecrate our lands and river bodies. Chieftaincy is an important institution in our country, and the color that His Majesty has added to it has made us all proud. I pray that His Majesty will continue to be the focal that will serve as a catalyst to propel development across Afghanistan and beyond. Our expectation is that Otumbo will be the beacon of hope and his influence shall transcend beyond Ghana. As the constitutional monarch of Uganda, the Kabaka of Uganda, Roland Bowenda II, attested during his 25th anniversary of coronation in Kampala in July 2018 when Otumbo attended as a special guest of honor. 
to the UN Green Group on behalf of the Ghana Armed Forces. I acknowledge the good work and the quality of product that you have provided as Antimine in particular and Ghana at large. Further, to the KGL Group, Asset Bank, Gold Coast Refinery, Precious Minerals Marketing Company, the Melchior Palace, and Coronation Insurance Company. The idea behind the mention of this point will not have come into fruition without your collective contribution. May the production and sale of this coin be the forerunner the good things to come out of this gold coin. It is my expectation that the desired income will be generated to establish the cultural resource center in Kumasi to promote conflict resolution in Ghana. In this regard, I pledge an amount of 50,000 CDs towards this ladder work. I want to share the honor of this presentation of the commemorative gold coin and dedicate the coin to you, the gallant officers, men, women and civilian employees of the Ghana Armed Forces, particularly our soldiers who keep guard and vigilance on our key national installations and land borders and also conduct operations in our forest, reserve and our water bodies against illegal mines. I dedicate this point to the sailors who patrol daily in our maritime domain and water bodies, and the airmen who ensure that our airspace are kept safe. All these efforts ensure that our country is well protected and secure so that the citizenry can go about their business in a safe and secure atmosphere of peace and stability. Ghana is ranked first as the most peaceful country in West Africa, second in Sub-Saharan Africa, behind only Mauritius, and 38 globally on the Global Peace Index. The credits go to you, the gallant soldiers, sailors, airmen, and women who provide security and stability to our country. And I commend you highly for that. It is noted that there can be no sustainable development without security. This is where our aspiration and role in providing security for our nation converges with Kutumbo's agenda for development. I also dedicate this point to the many Ghanaian peacekeepers the world over who work assiduously and selflessly to bring peace to conflict regions. Finally, I would like to thank His Majesty Otum for for giving out his resources for the production of the 24 karat gold coin and for the honor done me this morning. It is a treasure that I will cherish forever. My felicitation also goes to you, you on three group, 
Asset Bank, Gold Coast Refinery, Precious Minerals Marketing Company, Mencia Palace, and Coronation Insurance Company. I thank you all for blessing this memorable occasion with your esteemed presence, and may the good Lord bless us all. Thank you for your attention. Good morning, and I will stand on existing protocol. To the CDS, um, I am reminded of a period between 1994 and 1996 when I was drafted into the Accra Academy Cadet Corps. And I was always driven by the most instructive and the most admirable motto that drove the team in school, which was one step ahead. And listening to the accolades being read on your behalf, listening to the admiration and the full order and the list that is your chief of staff went through, I'd like to applaud you for taking one step ahead and being one step ahead at every time. And I congratulate you for that. Again, before I introduce the team that came with us, I'd like to also thank you for your commitment to be as you did mention. I'm also very excited to also touch on the fact that your contribution of 50,000 feet is more than the money itself. The gesture is more than the money, and it goes to the core of entrenching Ghana's heritage and history. And for that, we thank you for that. Three years, you also touched and said that your speech is also to commend the men and women who make the peace possible. And with that in mind, I will also go to a queue and introduce the men and women that we also came here with. So I'd like to, again, Richard has been acknowledged already, but the executive chair of the Eon 3 group is Mr. Richard, a Jay Mensa Okori Asa. We're also here with Madame Yvonne Antonio, who is the group head, retail banking for Access Bank. And we are here with uh, Mr. Seth Suka, Director of Sales and Distribution for Coronation Insurance. <laughs> Mr. Eric Infiamwa Ade, Head Bank Assurance and Partnership. <laughs> and finally, we're here with Opa Yumi Ubun Sola, Head of Technical for Coronation Insurance. <laughs> so yes, I would like to say that the process for the Dakon Resolution started many presidents ago. And behind every president has seen the role that the army has played. And it started with His Excellency John Adekun Kupo. It transitioned all the way through to His Excellency John Ivan Sipia Kamel. It may he so rest in peace. Then it transitioned to His Excellency John Jamali Mahama. And to this point where the resolution was found during the time of His Excellency, Again, I stand on the existing messages delivered that Otun Kwa's love for peace goes beyond just the Dagon type resolution. Otun Kwa's love for peace is what saw him leading the charge for the resolution of the PNUSD issue, the Tetiman conflict, and many others. And also to add that it's his love and testing for peace that saw him being invited to the United Nations General Assembly to deliver a speech on how culture and tradition can mobilize community for peace. Yes, we are very grateful for your time. And at this point, I'd like to invite on stage Madame Antonio, who is the head, the group head, to join me in doing the presentation of the fourth point to you. The Utumpo commemorating fourth point is being presented to you by Yvonne Antonio Group Head Retail Banking. It's an appointed four carat gold coin with a 99.9% purity. We thank you for your service to the country. We thank you for your commitment to peace. We thank you 